Good to have you back. Gonna review uh, one that's been a long time coming today. And this shoe is a bit of a throwback and a bit of a future craft, if you will. Today we're gonna to be talking about the Adidas Ultra 4D. Now, you can see that it obviously has the look of the Ultra Boost 1. What they're calling the DNA now, it will always be the 1.0 for me. So, it has the look of the 1.0, and then it has the new 4D tooling. Outsole is a little bit different this time. I love the tread pattern on it. Um, I think things are a little truer to what we were first seeing with the Future Craft. Now, most people will remember the Future Craft looked this way also. The Future Craft 4D looked exactly like a 1. I don't think it had the cage, but it did have this look, this heel, this, uh, this makeup. And it was one of the more popular shoes. Um, super rare, super expensive. Well, if you like that one, you can finally get your hands on this one. Now, when it launched... Future Craft was absolutely nuts. And it, it was this 3D printed technology. Adidas was ahead of the game going to market with it. There were other brands like Under Armour who had 3D printing, but it wasn't uh, quite full fledged like this. The Under Armour 3D printed was only in the heel portion. Adidas had a full fit, a full foot 3D printed midsole this is unique though because of the color this is triple black well black and graphite if you will um the black midsole tooling for the ultra 4d is a little bit different than the first alpha edge which had they've always had this sort of uh pale green this one is dope. This is one of the dopest ones you can tell. I wear mine, it's almost bald. Um, I wear the hell out of this one. This is one of my favorite shoes ever. Um, this one goes international with me. I took this one to Mexico when I was traveling. Only shoe I took. Uh, this one gets it in, man. But you can tell a real difference in the makeup. Now first, we'll go and I'll show you a couple of others. That alpha edge that first alpha edge tooling stay pretty consistent as you can see so they had a kind of high stack big heel the lattice work was a little more intricate and um same thing there that sort of minty pale green this was the uh the flash version that had the 3M woven into it. Now, all three of those I'll compare against this one. This one has the new tooling. And you can tell the stack is different. The lattice work is different. And so the feel is a little bit different. I have to admit, these shoes that Alpha Edge 1 and the Alpha Edge 2 are stiff. You're not really getting a whole lot of cushion, not a lot of squish. It's super supportive. I actually weightlift in this shoe because it's got the same rigid support as a lifting shoe, if you can believe that. Um, it's crazy, but it works that way. So I actually do weightlifting in this shoe along with walking and casual and whatnot. No running. In the Ultra 4D, you see the midsole that they've come out with that actually they're promoting for running. This one is in the Run 1.0. There's a 4D Run 1.0 that's out. And the price point is different. These retailed at 300 This one is retailing at 220 And I want to say the run 1.04 d is retailing at 200 so you lopped a hundred dollars off the price 
most likely because you're dealing with a smaller, more compact um, midsole tooling for the 4D material. So affordability is hard to call 200 bucks affordable, but it's better than 300. Although you are getting more than just the physical shoe, to me, I love innovation. Um, I'll pay for innovation. And so to see this come to market in that consumer retail sense, um, to me, that's archival. When I'm done wearing this shoe, it will still stay in my collection because it was a quantum leap. It was Adidas trying something, and they are always ahead of the curve trying new things. So that's what this one is all about. Now, let's look at some differences and some similarities. So outsole first, because everything else is pretty obvious. The outsole you don't always see, but that tread pattern, this one was pretty slick. Um, didn't have a lot of traction if you weren't on straight up concrete. This one looks like it would have a little bit more grip. Okay, that, that kind of lattice work uh, cross cut pattern and then running down through the center, just some uh, straight up knobby texture. The stiffness of the shoe is still there, um, but the traction is amazing. So now looking at the upper, hold tight. Let me run and get one of my old uppers. All right, here we have the limited edition silver from 2015. You can see the upper, the knit upper. This upper, is exactly the same okay so you see the cage tooling cage tooling heel counter heel counter the ultra right there it says ultra 4d on this one obviously it says ultra boost but other than that your 1.0 is sitting right up the top so that's the basics of it. Real dope shoe. Glad that I got my hands on it. Um, as a, When I first saw the Future Craft 4D, it blew everybody's minds. This is about as close as I'll get because the other one is astronomically priced. Um, still insanely priced and there's no way that I'm going to spend that amount of money. But for someone who loved that shoe, to get this close is pretty dope. Real stoked that I got my hands on it. I'll show you this one on foot. We just had some snow, so I'm going to let them plow it first. Then we'll get out there and show it to you on foot. All right. Thanks for rocking with me. Peace.